Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Riddler 3. Very impressive, Commander. Clearly you are quite resourceful. Yes. Too bad Leningrad was merely a diversion meant to pull our forces from where they were actually needed. Maybe next time your efforts will be of more use. General, I've just been notified that the Imperial forces are moving towards Moscow. They are currently nearing our old satellite launch facility at Krasna 45. Krasna 45. We might be able to use that facility against them. You see, Commander, while you were hiding behind the barricades in Leningrad, our enemy was thrusting deeply into the Motherland's tender nether regions. It's time to show some backbone and take the fight to the enemy. Stop them before they get any closer to Moscow. Yes, sir. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the second mission. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this uh, solo too. All will be lost this mission. If the Empire's forces reach Moscow. We are going to use the Kresna 45 installation to intercept them. Even though it is inhabited by vagrants, the launch pad at Kresna 45 is still operational. General Krukov believes that we can use it against the enemy once the satellite is in orbit. Good luck. So yeah, we're supposed to um, drive away Empire, Empire of the Rising Sun from this Use our limited forces place. here in Krasna well. 45 to rout the invaders. Here are your objectives. Escort Natasha to the orbital launch facility. Be on the lookout for Soviet prisoners of war. Proceed with caution. Good luck in the field. Oh, well, thank you. Um, yeah, let's do it. So here's another co-commander in the game. There are three co-commanders for every every side, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah. A unit is under attack. Watch the drinks. On patrol. Good night. We sent the recon team here earlier, but they haven't reported back. Make haste to the launch facility, but be on your guard. Yeah. Enemy units Anybody detected. Around? Greetings, Commander. Oleg told me about you. I am Moskvin. I will be handling Natasha for this operation, protecting your flank. I mean, can you be any more Russian than that? <laughs> and there's a unit in this game. This is the sickle. Uh, I like that the uh, Soviets in this game, they have a hammer tank and a sickle. Walker, that's kind of funny, you know, hammer sickle, <laughs> whatever. Uh, this is an anti-infantry uh, thing, uh, and their special ability is to oh, I fucked that up. Is to jump, and they can jump over uh, cliffs and rivers, and you know, everything. So it's it's pretty useful, and they're effective versus infantry. They can actually jump upon infantry, but I missed that. Uh, to damage them a little bit, and they're like knocked back too. I must <laughs> say, putting those rising sun scum out of their misery is good fun. Yes, it's good fun. And this is the Imperial basic infantry, and their special ability, as you saw there, is to draw a little sword. Mm-hmm, <laughs> war bears. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Obviously, the Soviets have war bears. Let's. <laughs> So funny. Here's some uh, tank busters. Anti vehicle infantry. Enemy infantry to the bear special ability is to like make this roar that uh, stuns infantry. Other Soviet troopers trapped nearby. Right. Yeah, it's a good thing to rescue uh, New bonus objective received. Soviet troops. They are humiliating our Tesla troopers! That is the last straw! That is the last straw! Some of our finest Tesla troopers have joined you. They are effective against vehicles. Holy shit. Nice! Yeah, the Tesla trooper are back from Red Alert 2. They look a little different here. I like the design much more in Red Alert 2. Here they look like an astronaut or something. Um, But they're basically like in Red Alert 2. They fire this electric bolt that's good versus vehicles. And their secondary ability is to turn on this EMP thing and every vehicle around here will be disabled uh, but the Tesla trooper is also disabled when he does this so you know but it's pretty good kinda like the Nod buggy in or Raider buggy in uh, Command & Conquer 3 Siberian Wars you know they had this EMP thing Enemy units detected. 
super magnetic satellite ready. Let's rescue some other guys. A unit is under attack. Your bloated nation is ours! Unit lost. Tesla troopers excel against armored vehicles. Mm -hmm. Bonus objective complete. Capacitators... You've rescued all the members of the recon team. They should prove useful in helping you reach the launch facility. Uh -huh. Enemy units detected. Enemy infiltrator detected. And this is the tsunami tank. It's the Empire's uh, basic tank. It's a, it's like a light tank. It's much weaker than the Allied and the Soviet tank, but it's amphibious, which makes it, you know, more more mo mobile. Infantry, go down quick. Search protectors on. Sickle patrol. Keep your belt on. You know what? I can use my magnetic satellite on these. Oh God, make a tengu. Oh God, go back, go back, go back. Oh crap, this wasn't good. Full of energy. I'll get them. Good. See if my co commander can kill those. As in the Mecha Tengu, I mean the Empire of the Rising Sun, they have they have a lot of units who can transform. And the Mecha Tengu is one of them. You saw it was like an airplane and then it transformed to this mecha thing on the ground. Uh it um it can do that. It can transform into an airplane that shoots other planes or aircraft. And it can also transform into this mecha thing on the ground that's effective versus infantry, right I believe. So the Empire of the Rising Sun have a lot of mobility units that can like, you know, like chains. Yeah. Kind of like Transformers. And this is the Shinobi, it's uh, it's like a ninja or something. <laughs> Free it's kind of like the Allied Spy, but... Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Oh god. No, no. Oh, that wasn't good. Mm, I can jump over this with my sickles. Ow, ow, ow. LOL! They're like firing on that uh, carnival stand thing. It's like a firing range. Ah, that's pretty funny. What the fuck? No! Oh, I only have one sickle left. Come on, kill the infantry. You knobs. Maybe I should wait for my magnetic satellite to kill these. Yeah. And here's the Striker VX. It's a helicopter uh, w w when it's in the air, firing like rockets on the ground. And when it's on this mecha form and on the ground, it's fire. It, it fires anti-air missiles up in the air. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. Quiet down, it's HQ. So I lost a lot of units there, and my co-commander lost every unit except Natasha. That's stupid. It's pretty boring, just wait. Let's see if I can get my coke matter a little closer so she can... There we go. I was kind of supposed to play this mission with my cousin Shogi. Um, but he was like not available today, so... Or tonight, so... So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save my first co-op experience for another mission. Uh-huh. So yeah, this is supposed to be like some kind of carnival. But it's actually like a space launch facility. I don't know, Kreshna 45. I don't know if that's a real space thing in Russia. I don't know. Uh, what is, or if it's made up. I mean, damn, the water looks very good in this game. It looks really good. It looks like... I mean... Everything in this game is so colorful. I mean, it's really different from Tiberian Wars, which is a very dark and, you know, like serious game. This is much more cartoony. And I like all the colors. It's, uh, it's nice. I like it. 
Reinforcements have arrived. The satellite is launched. Oh, nice. Established. You may now use orbital bombardment against your foes. It's HQ. Signal patrol. It would be rude of me not to introduce myself. Oh, crap. I am Shinzo Nakama. You may have defeated Kenji, but I am not so easily cast aside. They were hiding in the tents this whole time? Well, no matter. The orbital refuse protocol is now available for you. Use it to crush the enemy. Come on, take over the launch the satellite was easy part. Now it's time to clean up this mess. Balloon bombs? Be careful not to let them drop on your forces, sir. Open yes, the sir. protocol's menu and request orbital drill. Oh god, balloon bombs. That's uh No, what the hell? Move your fucking Natasha. Yeah, balloon bombs, that's uh one of Empire's uh support powers. Oh yeah, I can use the orbital drop now. And the funny thing is, uh, it drops a satellite from space, like on the ground, to like smash. But the thing is, if you use magnetic satellite to basically sweep up enemy vehicles in orbit, and they and they use this, you actually drop the tanks too. You see, they're the tsunami tanks. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I mean, this game is really fucking crazy and. I mean, there's a lot of support powers and a special ability that makes this game very crazy, or like, you know, a lot of funny moments. Uh, we'll see that later, but like, the allies, they have a cryocopter. <laughs> sorry, which can freeze other units, and it can also uh, shrink enemy units. That is, that, that could create some very funny moments. Like when you shrink an apocalypse tank or something, that's, that's pretty funny. Where's Natasha? Is she dead? Oh, there she is. Damn, they just keep dropping these. Um. Oh, no, don't walk on the bombs. Oh god, they, they undeploy their MCV. Oh, there's Yuriko. That's uh, Empire of the Rising Sun's commando. She's quite deadly. <laughs> Did you think it would be so easy to stop us? Kill her, kill her! Oh my god. Their tactics are unorthodox. But there was no problem for you, Commander. The people of Moscow will rejoice when they learn of this victory. Yeah, like a boss. Ah, oh, this wasn't that hard. Mm. I hope you're enjoying this let's play so far. Uh, if you have any complaints, like on the sound or anything, you no, know, just feel free to comment. Like. Turn down the music, turn down the sound, turn down your voice, shut up, don't talk, I hate your voice, or you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, otherwise I'll see you in the next episode, where we'll do the third mission for the Soviets. So yeah, bye bye.